Straight from the best fishing locations in the world, featuring Wade Middleton, Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter, presents The Fisherman's Handbook. The Fisherman's Handbook is a legendary series of how-to fishing trips designed to help you become a better angler. Each week, top pros will walk with you along the aisles of Cabela's retail stores and help you flip the pages of the Cabela's catalog to show you what you need and how to get you ready to go fishing. That's all ahead on today's Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. You know, something new is always exciting, be it a new car, a new fishing reel, a new tackle box, a new place to go fishing, a new series of events, a new boat. You know, new is just one of those words that gets you exciting from the smell of something new to the first time you touch it to the first time you use it. And that's going to be the theme and the theory of this week's Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. There we go. The Fisherman's Handbook has spent the last few months traveling around trying to find out what is new and cutting edge in the fishing industry in 2013. And boy, did we find some fantastic stuff. We'll break it down for you from boat launch to hook set, all on today's show, starting with picking the right lake. You know, one of the most exciting things coming up ahead for us on Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook is we're going to spend some time showcasing a variety of fisheries across the nation. We're going to go in-depth for different places that you might want to visit as an angler, be it a saltwater angler, say, heading to the coast of Louisiana, or going to Kentucky Lake, or visiting Alabama for some great fishing at, say, Pickwick. But also, we're going to spend some time at both Falcon Lake and Lake Amistad, breaking down the tips, tactics, seasonal patterns that are there so that you can plan some great big bass fishing trips. And that's going to be all ahead as the year unfolds here on Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. And while we're there, we're going to spend a lot of time helping you learn more about fishing line. We're going to showcase some of the best hooks on the market. We're going to help you pick out rod and reel combinations. And always, we're going to show you some of the new baits that are out on the market right now. They're going to help you simply catch more fish. So be sure and stay tuned to a lot of our episodes ahead as we showcase those. Once you pick the spot you want to fish, the next thing you'll need is a GPS. Before you ever launch your boat, it's good to have a route and game plan for where you're going and how to get back. You know, I remember as a kid asking for my first fish finder, and I really didn't even know what I was asking for. I just thought it was going to give me an advantage over my buddies when we went out to the ponds and lakes in the local area. And then as time passed, and I began to understand what fish finders could do, and then they in incorporated GPS technology and how you could tile those again, and now you can see weather on there and all the incredible features that are there. It's amazing to me that there's still more to come. And Garmin, the leader in a lot of that technology, is simply raising the bar again. Let's head up to Grand Lake in Oklahoma and join the mapping team there and learn a little bit more about what Garmin has in store for the future. This is a state-of-the-art uh, hydrographic survey equipment that allows us to uh, collect virtually every square inch of the bottom in a high resolution. There's uh, multiple sensors on the boat, on this transducer, on the frame of it right now, that allows us to take swaths anywhere from up to 20 or 30 meters wide to over 100 to 200 uh, meters wide. With this state-of-the-art system, it allows us to, uh, with the capabilities to cover every square inch of the water, can give us the subtle bottom changes that fishermen are really wanting to see. We'll see more from this exciting trip on Grand Lake in a later episode of the Fisherman's Handbook. But until then, find out more about the complete line of Garmin products. Visit Garmin.com. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter of fishing, hunting, and outdoor gear. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Garmin, we'll get you there. The Fisherman's Handbook will be right back. Cabela's, your source for the hottest new gear at tough to beat prices. Save big on everything you need when you shop by catalog, stores, and online at cabelas.com. Our legendary selection is field-tested and field-proven. You can trust our gear. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. 
we invented and patented the first aerated live well. We're first with higher flotation standards, first to receive a protected design hull copyright, and we're still the only boat with the strength of a solid fiberglass transom. With such a strong focus on non-stop innovation, no other boat enjoys such advanced engineering. Ranger Boats, we're celebrating 40 years of fishing and a lifetime of leadership. Discover Yamaha's VMAX power. When you want the best, choose Yamaha. Garmin says their new Echo Fish Finders are simply the best fish finders for the money. I'll echo that. Right. Garmin also says you'll be impressed with the Echo Fish Finder's excellent power, screen clarity, and free transom and trolling motor mounting kit. I'll echo that. A nice, uh, bass. I'll echo that. Oh. 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 Why is it looking at me? Do fish hear? Yes, they do. Livingston Lures sound and vibration technology <laughs> proves it. Our lures whip fish into a feeding frenzy. I don't know what it is for sure, but I know it seems like you get some ferocious bites on these baits. There he is. Livingston Lures stands as the innovator of vibration and sound technology that mimics biology. That's what I'm talking about right there. Visit us at livingstonlures.com or call 1-800-678-7841. Proven reliability is part of every Yamaha outboard, so we're starting off 2013 with Yamaha's Proven Reliability Sales Event. For a limited time, purchase an eligible new Yamaha outboard and choose between three years of Yamaha limited warranty coverage along with an additional two-year Yamaha extended service plan at no extra cost. Or take up to $2,000 in Yamaha credit toward the purchase of goods and services. Either way, if you're looking to have more fun on the water in 2013, now's your chance. Visit your local Yamaha outboard dealer today. Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. Follow the Fisherman's Handbook on Facebook, where you'll get the behind-the-scenes tips and tactics. And follow along with Wade and the crew as they post pics and updates from their fishing trips. You'll also have a chance to win a once-in-the-lifetime fishing trip with Wade to the redfish capital of the world, Venice, Louisiana. Find us on Facebook and click the like button. We're breaking down some new and innovative products in the fishing industry that will get you out on the water faster, safer, and catching more fish. Kayak fishing is taking the tournament circuits by storm. Anglers are finding out how fun it is to get up close and personal with the fish and letting the big ones take them for a ride. Let's head over to the IFA Kayak Fishing Championship in Chalmette, Louisiana. It's a great event, it's a culminating experience for you know, all season, all year, I fished all the uh, Louisiana tournaments, I fished the Texas tournaments, and uh, this is where it comes together. Uh, there's no tournament like this. We have five divisions and uh, multiple events, and then you come together for the championship and you meet all those other people that, that are competing in different regions, and uh, it's, it's exciting to meet and talk about different techniques that guys are working with uh, in different parts of the country. Hobie Kayaks have made tournament fishing and kayaks so easy with the Mirage pedal drive and stable platforms. I'm using the uh, Hobie Outback. Uh, it's a good all-around boat, it's great size. Um, it's easily uh, you know, loaded and unloaded from my truck in case I need to hop spots. In case the bite shuts down at one location, we can move it pretty easy. And it's, uh, it's good enough for standing, especially when we have perfect conditions like we have today and tomorrow. The Outback for me, um, it's, it's kind of no-brainer. I use the PA or the PA-12 when I'm offshore. Uh, I use it a lot when I'm just having fun spot fishing where I can stand up and don't think twice about it. But for this tournament, I'm going to be jumping spots a lot and I want speed where I can get places and I want to be able to grab that boat with all my equipment in it, put it in the back of the truck and keep moving. Hobie's done a lot of things for me. I love their kayaks. I wouldn't be out on the water and have been successful as I have been without them. You know, the Mirage pedal drive system gives me the ability to never put the rod down to continue fishing. Even in the worst weather, I can keep that rod in my hand and keep moving and keep fishing. Whereas, you know, if you're using a paddle, you're fighting the wind, you're fighting the current, you're not fishing. So it's a big advantage. They have a great line of products and um, I'm happy to be a part of their team and to be back here in uh, Chalmette, Louisiana. For more on the Hobie Kayak seen on today's show, visit HobieFishing.com.
The links being brought in at this capture photo and release tournament were tremendous, and Benton Parrott clinched his win with over 123 inches. Oh, it feels great. Um, I've been fishing these now for three years. I work hard at all of them. I travel all around doing them. Um, I'm always like the, the bridesmaid. I'm always right there second behind somebody and have a great fish, but just not good enough. So to actually pull this one off, that's a great first win. Something new is always exciting, be it a new car, a new fishing reel, a new tackle box, a new place to go fishing. And one of the most exciting things about my job is I get to spend some time with companies and product development and go see products before they come out on the market. Now we're going to head over to the Yamaha test facility where they're going to show some new things that they've got coming out on the market in 2013. Yamaha's come out with like some tremendous new products this year. We're at a new product introduction. This is their test facility down at Bridgeport, Alabama on the Tennessee River. But one of the ones I find really exciting is the new 204 stroke. And it's a super lightweight motor. And, and with me is Dale Barnes to tell us a little bit more about it. We're proud of this motor because we're bringing a 200 horsepower four stroke to the market that, that weighs only 487 pounds. And that really allows a lot of boats to come to life and offer the benefits that people look for in a four stroke motor. The Yamaha VMAX SHL 150 is unique in the fact that when you think about the consumer that's in that 18, 19 foot category, a lot of those consumers have been holding out, waiting for a performance solution. They like the four stroke benefits, the, the clean, the smooth, the quiet, the no oil to buy, but they're looking for the performance that they've always known and loved with their two stroke. Now they have that opportunity as well. They have the performance and they have the four stroke benefits. The weight is down, the performance is up, and all of the four stroke clean, smooth, quiet is already there. The Helmaster system from Yamaha, what makes it unique is it's a comprehensive, complete boat control system. Helmaster helps people take the apprehension out of docking the boats by, being, uh, by making it very easy to move the boat in a forward or backward manner, a side to side, diagonally. Basically, what you do is you simply communicate where you want to go with the boat through a joystick. There is so many different parts of Helmaster over and above joystick, and one of which is that auto trim assist. It's a five-step process that is set by the user, and as you accelerate and hit certain RPM points, the engines automatically trim to a certain set point. The other thing is the speed control, which is applicable all the way through the RPM range. So it, whether you're trolling or whether you're cruising or whether you're running wide open, you can use the speed control and that gives you the opportunity to hit a button like you would on cruise control and then speed up or slow down by simply using a button on the front of the control. From the ultra lightweight VMAX SHO 150 to a fully loaded Hellmaster series, Yamaha has continued to prove to be the innovators in marine outboards. For more info on any of the products seen on today's show, visit YamahaOutboards.com. When we come back, we'll get out on the water and put some lures to the test. Wade and the Fisherman's Handbook crew have always trusted Ranger boats to get them out on the water for saltwater and freshwater. Ranger boats are the Fisherman Handbook's boat of choice. Ranger is celebrating 45 years of still building legends one at a time. Let's put your Ranger knowledge to the test. In 1969, Ranger Boats was the first to install what feature that not only makes boats quieter, but also adds comfort, security, and aesthetic appeal. For the answer to this question, and to learn more about the last 45 years of Ranger Boats, visit MyDreamRig.com. Now give me Branson, where folks are smiling, and all the while, inviting you there, warm and cozy, feeling rosy, friendly places, woo, smiling faces. Escape the winter blues with a dose of fun, Branson style. Many shows and attractions are open, so call today for special winter schedules. Give me Branson, where folks are smiling, Branson, Missouri. 
Now that's entertainment. Call 888-339-4949. Here at Cedar Creek Lake, we got a cooler full of nice crappie, just like this one. We're gonna go back and fillet them with the bubble blade. Hello guys, my name is Chuck Rollins. I'm with BigCrappie.com Guide Service. We're using a bubble blade to clean all of our fish now. We've stopped using the electric knives. I'll tell you why we like these guys. One, I've gotten quicker with this than I was my electric one. I would recommend bubble blade to anyone who cleans a lot of fish. You can bust right through the rib cages with these blades because they're so rigid. And, but these flexible ones, are they'll bend also so you can clean these smaller fish. Now, the reason I like these bigger blades is they give me a lot of leverage. Once I get in a roll and I start cleaning a lot of fish, if I've got 60 or 80 fish up here to clean, and you can push this through those bones a lot faster than you can push that electric knife through them. I picked up a bubble blade about four months ago and I'm sold on it, and that's, that's all I use now. Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. Brought to you in part by Livingston Lures, designed to call the fish to you. Hydrowave, ignite a feeding frenzy. Amphibious performance floating eye gear. And by Laser Trocar, surgically sharpened technology. We've gone out and gathered some of the best new stuff in the fishing industry, and we're bringing you a glance of what's hot for this year. The dawning of a new year is always going to bring about new boat models, new rod and reel combinations, and new things in general. And anytime you start talking about new, there's going to be some change in the air, there's going to be some excitement, there's going to be somebody that's going to figure out how to use those a little quicker than others. And one of the things we're going to showcase on this week's show is a brand new bait company called Livingston Lures. Livingston Lures has burst on the scene with some exciting new products that we're going to get out on the water with Jeff Reynolds, bass fishing professional, and he's going to share some tips not only how to catch some fish with these baits, but share some insight on what he likes to look for when he hits the water. There's one. What we're doing today, we're fishing the shad spawn. It's the end of April, we're on Lake Texas home, the shad has started spawning, and the, when the shad start spawning, they spawn on a bunch of different things. They spawn on boat houses, on the foam on the boat houses, they spawn on the banks, rock banks, or they'll get in these weeds and spawn in them. But all we're doing is we're moving around trying to find where the shad are spawning. Like right now, it's later in the day, it's probably about 10 o'clock today. Most of the shad has quit, have quit spawning, but they're still gonna be around. Oh, easy now. Get to me hook sticking out there. Well, right there is when you know they want that crankbait. They get a hold of that front hook like that. Man. The DM20, the Livingston Lures. Whew, boy, that sucker's down there deep. It's not a giant, but he's not a bad fish. We'll let him grow up. These fish now just, they backed off out here a little bit deeper. You know, the sun's got up good, the sheds quit spawning, and uh, they just moved off uh, moved off the shallow stuff where they've been spawning. There he is. That's a good one. Boy, he just come up and swatted that. Easy there, big boy. Hold my mouth. Oh, tail light up. Man, that's the kind of fish you can catch on a, a weight bait right there. Man, that's a nice one. Boy, this is a deal. These windy points out here, anytime you get wind blowing, you got vegetation like this around the surface, right underneath the surface. Man, these weight baits are the deal. They got, you can see the bill straight down. It keeps it from diving very deep. It just runs right underneath the surface and the wake bait's what it is and it does just what it, what it says it does. It just runs right underneath the surface, got a real wide wobble, just puts off a wake and uh, it's kind of in between a spinner bait and a top water. You know, it's too windy out here to throw a top water, but you want something near the surface, kind of getting a reaction bite and just something big and slow like a big shad wobbling through there and uh, you can see the tail light up, the eyes light up, makes a sound, it's got a knocker in it, 
plus it makes a, a little croaking type sound that's built in it and uh, just extra added stuff to help you catch fish but man that's the deal right there let's get another one of them Livingston is creating a major buzz around the fishing industry with its microelectronic technology that emits a croaking sound even when the bait is standing still. With its lighted eyes and tail and state-of-the-art paint and hooks, this lure is designed to call the fish to you. The reason I think these baits catch fish so well is it's something different, something they haven't seen before. It's the sound devices they have in them, the croaking sound it has, the lighted eyes, the lighted tail. It's something new, fish haven't seen before, and we all know how that is. When you get a new bait out there on the market, it's usually hot. And so far, man, it's been the case. This is really a cool bait. At Livingston Lures, we're so proud of our baits for many reasons, but first and foremost, the fact that we're not only putting embedding technology into our baits, but they actually catch fish. They, they work well. They work when they're supposed to, how they're supposed to, in the environments that uh, we put them in. That makes me very proud. Ah, the old pro sizzle. Boy, he couldn't handle that. I mean, he exploded on that thing. When the fisherman's handbook returns, we'll put some more products to the test out on the water. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. That's a tote. Sunline Super Fluoro Carbon, with strength to guarantee your confidence. Garmin says their new Echo Fish Finders are simply the best fish finders for the money. I'll echo that. Right. Garmin also says you'll be impressed with the Echo Fish Finders excellent power, screen clarity, and free transom and trolling motor mounting kit. I'll echo that. A nice, uh, bass. I'll echo that. Oh. 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 Why is it looking at me? Whether your battleground is at sea, offshore, or on the flats, arm yourself to the teeth with Laser Trocar, the first surgically sharpened hook in the world for faster penetration and unmatched holding power. Boards in America from ultra-high carbon steel, featuring the deadly three-sided Trocar point. Laser Trocar hooks bring big-time stopping power to big-game fishing. Rule the ocean with Laser Trocar. Hey man, how about that? They were really tight. Not bad. What was that? Do you see that? See what? Creep, did you forget to turn the hydrowave off again? Oh, it looks like I did. Don't worry, I got it. Thanks, bud. Creep! Sorry, guys. He never remembers. Give it up, Creep. What are you doing, dude? They're keepers. Introducing advanced interchangeable hook design, Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. It gives the bait a free range of motion, give more natural and realistic action while maintaining upright hook position. Need to change bait styles, colors, even hooks on the fly? Get ready for the easiest way to mix up your lure appearance with an easy twist on and off snap. The future of fishing. Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I oh, absolutely love it. Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. We're checking out what's new this year in the fishing industry and breaking it down for you. From getting to your honey holes with a good GPS and boat motor combo, to bringing the fish to you with a good lure. Something that often gets overlooked is the correct fishing line for different applications. Let's head over to iCast to find out from our friends at Sunline what to look for in a fishing line. Hey everyone, Mike McClellan coming from iCast, and this year we're standing here at the Sunline booth as you can see. One question I get asked all the time is what fluorocarbon do you prefer? One thing you have to keep in mind is the application you're using it for and, and what you're doing with the line at any given time. But one thing Sunline has done is they've tried to kind of break it down to where we've got a formula. You've got three 
qualities of fluorocarbon. You've got what you would say is the good, the better, and the best. The Sunline Super Fluorocarbon is what I'm going to call the good. Sunline Super Fluorocarbon is one of the most premier fluorocarbons on the market for the price. I mean, this line is going to be able to do anything you want to do where a fluorocarbon is applicable. If you want to crank on it, throw a jig on it, throw a Texas rig, a Carolina rig, the Sunline Super Fluorocarbon's the way to go. When you step up to the better, the FC Sniper, and, and there's some little characteristics about the lines that make them different. The Sunline Sniper is going to be the better. This is going to be a line that's going to perform a little bit better coming off the reel. You're going to get a little bit more casting distance. You're going to notice a little bit more abrasion resistance, and it's going to be the line, you know, if you want, if you don't mind spending a little bit more money, this is the line to go to. This is the line I use on a day-in, day-out basis, whether I'm throwing a crankbait, fishing a football jig offshore, it really doesn't matter. This is the one I prefer day in, day out. Now when you start talking about flipping, cover, rocks, you know, real abrasive stuff, that's where the, the, the best comes into play. The Sunline Shooter is the premier fluorocarbon that Sunline makes and this is the line that you want to go to when you're really fishing nasty cover, when you don't mind spending the extra dollar, the Sunline Shooter is definitely the way to go. So the next time you get ready to shop for fluorocarbon fishing line, just remember the good, better, best formula. Super, sniper, and shooter. Sunline's the way to go. We've been sharing a lot of information with you today about a lot of new products. It's gonna be hard to keep up with everything. It's hard for me to keep up with it all, but I'm excited to get out and try it all out. And we're gonna showcase it on all the Fisherman's Handbook episodes this year. Now, for you tournament anglers, not to be forgotten, there's some exciting things going on. Don't forget all the great contingency prizes that many of the companies have in store for you if you're going to be competing this year, such as the Cabela's Anglers Cash Program, the Ranger Cup Program, and many other programs that are out there available for you tournament fishermen so that you can maximize your winnings when you're out on the water competing. Some of the great events this year that you're going to see showcased on many of our programs, the National Walleye Tour. It's a new, exciting, professional-level walleye competition. We're also going to show you some great events from the Cabela's IFA Redfish Tour, as well as the Lucas Pro-Am, and not to be forgotten, the Hobie Kayak Redfishing cool. Tour. Yes! <laughs> this is what it's all about right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo! Also on store, we're going to spend some time in Texas covering some of the great Texas team trail events and not to be forgotten, many of the top level professional events where we'll spend some time with the touring pros out there and learn a little bit more about the tips, tactics, and new things that they're doing out on the water that are going to help you be more successful. So don't forget, as you stay tuned to all the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook shows, we've got a lot in store. And remember, if you're missing what's going on, go to our Facebook page, Fisherman's Handbook, and you'll be able to learn a little bit more about what we're doing, where we're doing it, and keep up with some of the behind the scenes things that are going on, and find some of the links to some of the things we've been talking about today that will drive you to some of the websites. So stay tuned next week as we're going to head back out on the water and simply catch more fish and hopefully bring you some action and education that's going to help you be more successful. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for more fishing tips and trips with the pros. See him jump around that. He was a yeah, gymnast, catfish. man. He's pretty, pretty talented catfish, man. Catfish. He jumped up there and spun all the way around that. Nice. I'm impressed. It's talent by this guy. This is Kevin's catfish that he let go from his, his aquarium. <laughs> <laughs>